Welcome back to the Khalifa Tennis and Squash Centre here in Fine. Doha. Lovely day and uh, everything going well in Andy Murray's first competitive match for four months. Against the wild card, Musa Shaman Zayed of Qatar. He's yet to win a game. And he keeps trying that, but uh, he keeps missing it. So he should really cut it out. Let's play a straightforward backhand. The perfectionist that uh, never really goes away from Murray will have hated that shot. Just in case you're doubting who sponsors Murray. Just a few signs now that Murray's concentration is wavering. Yeah, it's quite easy when you're uh, six love, three love up, let your thoughts wander. A pokey shot that one. Yes, it's one of those shots where it's almost as if the butt of his racket got stuck in his pocket. Oh, oh pity. Interesting tactic. That he He had virtually the whole court. He missed the backhand that lets him down, and Murray breaks again for the fifth successive time. Closing in on the second round here. He might know an awful lot more, really, than when he came in to this match. I would think he has tougher practice sessions with Danny Valverde. But at least there's no bad news. So seems to be working well. Yes, there are aces, but no grimaces. Which is good. 15 off. In a hurry to get on with it. Forty fifty. Can the serve too pacey? Uh, 
And again, Murray. It's all clicking into gear very impressively for Murray. Murray lead by five best serving so far, and it's five love. Eurosport Player is the Eurosport multi-screen service. With Eurosport Player, watch Eurosport and Eurosport 2 live on all your favourite devices through a single subscription. Follow great sporting events live and on demand. Enjoy exclusive content such as seven tennis courts simultaneously. Eurosport Player. All sports, all emotions, all screens. Welcome back. So, uh, time. Not much you can say about Zayed. I don't think he, Obviously, he came into this with limited ambition, but I don't think he's fulfilled even that. Yeah, I'm sure he plays a lot better, better tennis on the practice court. At least he's won one more point so far in this set. He's won eight, seven in the first. Yeah, it was a good fetch that from Nino. It is a squash and tennis complex. Maybe he's played a bit of squash. He's a pretty good mover, that's for sure. Perhaps Murray's a really first attempt at a cheeky shot. Bippy Button. One thing he could learn, Murray, it would go with his outfit or his shoes. Complete the the orange spectacle. Or is it red? And here are two match points for Murray after just 36 minutes. Thirty forty. Move in. Served him well. He's going to try it again. Too good. A class apart, but that's what we expected. What was heartening for the British fans was these come through unscathed, looked to be moving well, serving well. The first step in his comeback has gone according to plan. Yes, I would have thought uh, just perhaps uh, the perfect opening round for Murray. Yes, a little bit of testing of the back. He could swing those forehands, he could uh, lean into the serve at times, and uh, nothing really seemed to be. Uh, 
hindering him at all, so that certainly is a good sign. Love and love in 37 minutes. And uh, we wish Zayed well. I hope there hasn't been too scarring an experience for him. It shouldn't be. Uh, when you're thrown into the lion's den, really, amongst one of the strongest uh, competitors in the world, really, the expectation is surely not high. Andy, first things first, welcome back to Doha. As a two-time champ, I know this is a special place for you. Yeah, I played, uh, played here a lot when I was younger. I enjoyed it, had some of my best, uh, best results here. And, um, yeah, it's good to be back. Only 37 minutes on court today. Are you going to take some time, hit the practice courts again a little bit later on this afternoon? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably go and hit a few balls um, now with my coach, hit some serves, returns, do a little bit of movement stuff just to, to get into a bit of a rhythm. It's quite windy out here, so there uh, wasn't many long rallies today. Speaking of your coach and with the recent announcements of Roger and uh, Becker and, and uh, Becker going with Noel, uh, you feel like a trendsetter on the ATP World Tour all of a sudden or what? No, I mean, obviously, it's, uh, it's nice to see those guys on the tour. They're some of the greatest players ever. It's fun for the players to be around that, see those guys in the, the locker room and the player lounge. And, um, yeah, it's cool. It'll be interesting to see how they get on. Well, congratulations. Back, still going, here at the Qatar Exxon Mobile Open 2014. Let's hear it for your Wimbledon champion, Andy Murray. Yeah, certainly is all change at the moment at the top. Tennis getting uh, very like football with the uh, director of footballs coming in. Boris Becker and Stefan Edberg, who'd have thought of that? There's the stats anyway. They mostly mirror the scoreline. Not much comfort for Zayed. But Murray must feel a bit like a pathfinder because uh, the others have trodden that route. Yes, and I think it's uh, probably not a bad thing, particularly for Djokovic to have somebody like Becker there. It'll put a lot more spotlight in his box, and I think at times he feels that uh, Nadal and uh, Federer get all the, oh, a lot of the limelight, and he should get a bit more. With Becker there, I'm sure he will. So Roger trumps him by having alongside him the most popular player, probably, <laughs> ever to play. Yeah. That's what we have uh, next for you here on the British Eurosport 2. The enigma that is Alexander Dolkopolov. How good is he? We're still not really sure. Ranked outside the top 50 at the moment. Could this be his year? Could this be a big match for him in the start to 2014 or an end to 2013, whichever way you want to look at it? He plays David Ferrer, the number two seed from Spain. There's a confirmation of uh, Andy Murray's route through should he get through obviously a potential third round match against Fernando Hadas Fadasco you'll find an awful lot more about his back with that match how much you'll find against Brzezny we shall wait to see Brzezny taking on Florian Meyer later on gorgeous day and uh, our next match follows in just a few minutes Dolg Kopolov against Ferrer
They played 39 times. Their rivalry is the stuff of legend. Great strength, lightning speed, and the will to play through pain. They are the demigods of the sport, and they're destined to clash again. While among the women, one dominates the court, daring the challenges to steal her glory. The superpowers of tennis at the Australian Open from January the 13th, live on Eurosport and Eurosport 2. Kia, the power to surprise. to surprise. Winter Sport, all season long, live on Eurosport 2. Welcome back to Qatar and uh, second match here between Alexander Dolkopolov of Ukraine and uh, David Ferrer, the number two seed. Number Dolkopolov two on court, here is Ferrer. From Spain, David Ferrer. Another huge year, perhaps his best ever last year for Ferrer, who starts. 2014 ends 2013 at uh, the world number three, the highest position he's uh, ever had. Winner of two tournaments last year in Auckland, where he beat uh, Cole Schreiber, and Buenos Aires, where he beat Stan Wawrinka. But of course, his biggest moment getting to the final of Roland Garros, losing in the end to his friend and compatriot Rafa Nadal. But it it was a huge year for him. For him. Well, he's an amazing competitor, there's no doubt about it, and uh, one just wonders whether he can uh, keep it up.
to the extent that he uh, has. Uh, I just have a feeling this might be a very difficult year for him. Great admirer of his, but uh, can he run so many miles in uh, his quest to be the best in the world? He's never going to be the best in the world, but he's pretty near to it at uh, three.